uh, being a husband and a father is the most important thing to me. And I really want to make sure that I am, uh, if you will, um, the best provider and protector. That's sort of how I look at my two roles um, in the family primarily. And I want to be able to work hard so that I'm providing well for my family. And I always want to be, frankly, physically capable that I can protect them in, in even the most uh, dire of circumstances. Uh, but also, even beyond the role that I have now as husband and father, I the moment my first child was born, so in other words, the moment I became father, I actually could, in a way, see the day when I would be grandfather. And that's a big part of my motivation. It's not going to be hard for me to be healthy and capable while my kids are still mine at home, but I I'm really thinking another decade away when they have children of their own, and I'm imagining the kind of grandpa that I want to be. And so for me, as, as, a, as, a, as a man and, uh, and a member of my family and community, I want to be very capable, and my health matters um, to more than just my own selfish interests uh, where I want to go play some sports with my buddies. Uh, it, it's it's more important to that. Uh, a, a healthy, strong man is not only uh, helpful to himself, but he's a blessing to those around him. And I very much, uh, I take that view to heart and any sentiment that I can share that helps another fellow feel the same way and not only feel that way, but also actually take the steps to realize that benefit to him and those around him, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, my thoughts have certainly changed over the years, and I've benefited from being a biomedical scientist where I've been able to rely on just the hard, cold data. Like everyone else, I had thought for years that the key to optimal metabolic health for everyone, including men, was that I needed to be calorically balanced, that I needed to watch my calories and how much I was expending, as well as avoid saturated fat. and What's certainly evolved for me is, one, I do not believe anyone should ever be afraid of calories to the point that they're counting them. That's not to say energy doesn't matter, the amount of food we're eating. It, it matters, but that's going to be taken care of if a person is more mindful of their macronutrients, and that kind of allows me to kind of segue into that other point about saturated fat. What's so ironic, especially with regards to men, is that there are well done studies that have tracked the testosterone levels in men and sperm production in men who deliberately adopt low fat diets, what we've been told to do for decades now. And the further a man's dietary fat gets, the lower his testosterone levels become and the reduced and the greater his he experiences a reduction in sperm production. So the the less fat a man eats, the less manly he's becoming, unfortunately.